Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Moore, and I want to welcome you to this week's Build a Better Brain seminar. We've talked about the brain. Now we're going to talk about the spinal cord. Now the brain and the spinal cord make up your central nervous system. Now remember there's the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the temporal lobe, the occipital lobe, the cerebellum. We're going to talk about the brain stem in many more seminars, but we're going to talk about the spinal cord. And this is not a very good drawing of the spinal cord. It is not to scale. It is hardly accurate whatsoever. But I want to show you the spinal cord in my own rendition with the different colors so you can see the different areas of the spinal cord. On, on future videos, we're going to really get into the spinal cord and the spine. But the spinal cord is really a relay system between your brain and your body. It has motor nerves. Those are nerves that allow your brain to tell your heart to pump, to tell your, wig your fingers to wiggle, to tell you to move, to tell, your, to tell all your organs. There's motor supply to stuff you can think about and stuff you can't think about. There are sensory nerves that go up to your brain from stuff you can feel and stuff you can't feel. So there's conscious motor activity. There is unconscious motor activity. There's conscious sensation. There's unconscious sensation. So it's a relay system between the motor nerves and the sensory nerves so that your brain understands what's going on. Remember we talked about the network. The network of, of understanding what's going on. You walk outside, it's very warm outside today in Michigan. So you don't want to be wearing your winter coat. You need to be able to feel that. You need to make the motor action to go in and or take your coat off. You want to adapt. So adapting is knowing what's going on in your environment. That is the whole job of healing and adapting. Now, your spinal cord also has a reflex system. Somebody taps on your knee and you get that little kick reflex, boom. That's actually in your spinal cord. Your spinal cord has a pain gating mechanism so that you can actually stop pain, the feeling of pain, sensation of pain, before it gets to the brain. Your spinal cord also it does, has automatic channels in there so when you walk, your brain doesn't have to think about every little step that you take. You've just learned how to walk before and you do it. Now you do monitor it with, with your cerebellum so that you can feel it, your vestibular nucleus, so you don't fall down. But most of the work's actually done autonomically in your spinal cord. I bet people didn't know that. What people are most familiar about with the spinal cord is the 31 pairs of nerves that come out. They've heard that before. There's actually eight nerves in your neck, your cervical spine. You can actually see a little bulge there. Now that's pretty accurate, these two bulges. That is, that is the area of the cervical spine. That's where your brachial plexus is. And then there's a little bulge in your lower back in the, low, in the lumbar spine. That is where your lumbosacral plexus is. And that's just more gray matter. And we're going to go into that on subsequent videos. But there's eight cervical nerves. There's 12 thoracic nerves, five lumbar nerves, five sacral nerves, and one coccygeal nerve. Now your spinal cord actually ends at about L2-3. It ends right about here. And then you can see all these little tails called the cauda equina, all these nerves that come out from there. This is the conus medullaris where your spinal cord actually ends. It doesn't go all the way down and through here. It ends about here and it breaks off like my little fingers right there. Like a horse's tail. That's why it's called the cauda equina, a horse's tail. Now, your head, your, your brain is protected by your skull. And there's really, they'll say no movable bones to your skull, but there's 24 movable bones in your spine. And so that's why your spine and the health of your spine is so important because that is your spinal cord. Your spinal cord is what I like to call the tail of the brain. Now, an interesting thing that people forget about when they get in an accident, a whiplash accident, when, you're, when you move and you come to a sudden stop, your, your head stops, your brain moves. But it just doesn't move like this. 
it's connected to your spinal cord. So your brain moves weird, like this. It's not linear. It's all torqued because it has this thing down in through here like a tail. And so that the spinal cord is very important to that. But now, there are a whole bunch of muscles that protect your spine called intrinsic muscles. That is related, that is controlled by your brain. There is a reflex. When I walk around, you can see me looking at the camera and my, my, my head turns a little bit. And I do this. You can still see me, I'm changing my spine. Now that is called my visual ocular reflex, so that when I go and I walk over here and I pick up and I look at my pen, I don't have to look at every single, single step I'm taking. I can just look at the pen and walk over to it and get it. And my spine stays erect, my spine stays comfortable. That reflex is one with intrinsic muscles that hold my spine together and move my spine. And so when, as a doctor of chiropractic, when I make an adjustment and I restore normal alignment to the spine, I had better work on that area of the brain so that my brain tells all the muscles, all the ligaments, all the intrinsic muscles to do their job properly to sustain that misalignment, to sustain that adjustment that I just made. That is the reason you have misalignment. That is the reason why people will get back surgery and still wind up with pain. While they'll do therapy and work on one area and they still wind up with pain because nobody worked on the brain connection. Because they tend to think that your spinal cord is separate of your brain, but it is just the tail of the brain. And so, the exercise for today. Well, I like to call it spinal hygiene, and it's just movement. This is actually going to stimulate not just your, it's not really going to stimulate your spinal cord, it's going to stimulate everything motor and sensory in your body. And it's very simple. We're going to stand up, or we're going to, we're going to stand up with good balance. So the most important thing is safety. We're going to stand up with good balance. Our knees are bent, and we're going to very simply relax our hands. We're going to turn our head to the right comfortably. We're going to count to 10. We're going to turn our head to the left comfortably, and we're going to count to 10. We're going to bend our head to the side, or bring our ear to our shoulder comfortably, count to 10. We're going to bring our other ear to our shoulder comfortably, count to 10. We're going to look down comfortably, count to 10. We're going to look up, we're going to chin up comfortably, count to 10. Those are all the motions that your cervical spine goes through. Right? Your head turns, your, head bend, your neck bends, and it goes down and it goes up. Don't combine those, because now you're asking for an accident. You know what else that does that? The rest of your spine. So we're going to just keep our knees bent. We're going to slide our hand down our side comfortably. Count to 10. Try not to, try not to bend your head with it too. It's a little too much. And then come down the other side. Hold comfortably. Count to 10. Make sure your knees are bent. We're going to just twist our shoulders comfortably. Count to 10. And we're going to twist our shoulders. Now my head is following my body, by the way. Comfortably count to 10. We're going to come down nice and slowly. You probably can't see me now. We're going to keep our knees bent. We're going to come up one vertebrae at a time. And I will put the link down below for our actual spinal hygiene video. So you can look at that video on your own. This is a great investment. You just do it once a day, twice a day. It's great. It's going to stimulate your visual ocular reflex. It's going to stimulate your vestibular apparatus. It's going to stimulate your cerebellum. Those are all very important to getting a healthier spine. You need to do stuff. We're going to talk. So that's our central nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is all these nerves that come out. That's a topic for a whole nother seminar. I want to thank you for participating in our Build a Better Brain seminar series. Please like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, just call or text 810-374-0304, and somebody will get back with you right away from the office, probably myself. We appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you.